All new right now tonight on the rant legalize marijuana in Kentucky allow people to grow up to five plants and tax marijuana for state revenue. Most of you are telling the rant line time to go for it. But first here on the rant Jerry Lundergan walked into a prison in Ashland Kentucky yesterday to begin a sentence of 21 months in prison and a $150,000 fine convicted of illegally funneling money to his daughter's U.S. Senate campaign. Hi Doug, it's Mac from Louisville and I'm just ranting ranting about Lindergren and Grimes or whatever. I can't believe her dad did that and she actually ran for office against Mitch McConnell, a guy no one can beat. I mean, that was just a waste of money. Hello, Doug. My name is Gary. We need to legalize cannabis and tax it so that we can keep those tax dollars in the state of Kentucky. Marijuana saves lives. I think it ought to be legal. Yeah, Doug, this is Joe from Louisville, Kentucky. And before they legalize marijuana, they need to come out with some kind of a test to be able to check a driver and see whether they're impaired before they, because they cannot charge them with drunk driving and get by with it. So they need to come up with some kind of a test before they legalize marijuana. That's my rant. Thank you. Lots of very interesting and diverse calls on that subject. We'll have more of those coming up. But first, the governor wants to invest $10 million into the westward expansion of Waterfront Park for Louisville. Mickey in Louisville, investing in our city is good. I would like to see the use of the funds for homeless, youth rehabilitation center, safety, clean up our city first. Rebecca and Valley Station, that money would go a long way towards job opportunities and promotion of self-sufficiency for that area. But expanding the park is a great idea. And in Oldham County, the original waterfront park saved downtown Louisville. Does everyone forget this? It brought people back who had fled. The West expansion will be the spark, I'm convinced, to do the same. Tom in Southwest Jefferson County on the tow-in lot. The mayor says abandoned vehicles are a bedeviling problem. Bedeviling problems are why there's a mayor's office. The money is available to fix this. Figure it out. Well, let us know what you're thinking about the new variant. It's now being reported in this country for the first time. If you haven't gotten the vaccine, will you now get one? And will you continue to get boosters in the future if that's what's called for by the medical experts? You can also weigh in possibly legalizing marijuana for Kentucky or the new investment to expand Waterfront Park westward. Post a message on my Facebook page. You can also reach me on Twitter at WHS11Doug. You're welcome to follow me on Twitter if you like. Keep your emails coming to the rant at whs11.com. They come to me. I read every single one of them. And the toll-free rant line is open at 855-749-1101. I'll be listening to your calls right here tonight.